Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of the Microsoft AZ900 exam. I am your host Neetu Rai from UpDegree. And let's get started. Question 46. With Azure Public Cloud, anyone with a valid credit card can sign up and get services immediately. Subject to geography restrictions. Now the options are Option A. False Option B. True And the correct answer is Option B. True Explanation Yes, Azure Public Cloud is open to the public in all countries that Azure supports. Question 47 Your company has a virtual network and the networking team wants to implement the following requirements. To create two subnets and two VMS in each subnet. To create a user-defined route to enable the two subnet resources to communicate. Can a user-defined route be created without creating a subnet? Now the options are. Option A. UDR cannot be created without creating subnet. Option B. There is no relation between route and subnet. Option C. UDR can be created without creating subnet. Option D. At least one UDR is required to create a subnet. And the correct answer is option C. UDR can be created without creating subnet. Explanation UDR can be created prior to the creation of the subnet, but it would be effective only once the root is associated with subnet. Option A is incorrect. There is no mandatory validation to have a subnet while creating a UDR. Option B is incorrect. UDR is relevant when resources of the subnets communicate with each other. Option D is incorrect. UDR is required to associate with subnet. It is not required during the creation. Question 48. As a cloud solutions architect, the company management asked you to check how aligned is company security posture is with Microsoft's best practice recommendations for security. Which security feature would help to identify the current identity practices and advise improvements? Now the options are Option A. Azure Information Protection Option B. Azure AD Identity Protection Option C. Security Center Option D. Azure AD Identity Secure Score And the correct answer is Option D. Azure AD Identity Secure Score Explanation Azure AD Identity Secure Score helps in identifying the Identity Secure Score to provide the recommendations. The Identity Secure Score is a percentage that functions as an indicator for how aligned you are with Microsoft's best practice recommendations for security. Each improvement action in Identity Secure Score is tailored to your specific configuration. Option A is incorrect because AIP is used primarily for classifying and protecting documents and emails. Option B is incorrect because Azure AD Identity Protection helps in identifying the vulnerabilities related to identity. Option C is incorrect. Security Center primarily accesses the environment and workloads and provides recommendations for threat prevention. Question 49. A company wants to implement Azure AD Identity Protection. Following are the key requirements. Prompt users if the credentials are compromised. Identify suspicious login attempts. Which of the following policies implement the above requirements? Select two options. Now the options are Option A. User Risk Policy Option B. Azure Policy Option C. Sign-in Risk Policy Option D. MFA registration policy and the correct answer is option A user risk policy and option C sign in risk policy explanation option A is correct it is used if the credentials are compromised option C is correct it is considered for any suspicious sign ins like multiple incorrect login attempts option B is incorrect it is a service to create policies in Azure Option D is incorrect. It ensures that the user registers for MFA. Question 50. What is the significance of the Azure reason? Why is it important? Now the options are. Option A. 
even though you have to choose a reason when creating resources there's generally no consequence of what you select you can create a network in one reason and then create virtual machines for that network in another reason option b you must select a reason when creating most resources and the reason is the area of the world where those resources will be physically located option c once you select a reason you cannot create resources outside of that reason so selecting the right reason is an important decision option d reason is just a folder structure in which you organize resources much like file folders on a computer and the correct answer is option b you must select a reason when creating most resources and the reason is the area of the world where those resources will be physically located explanation the reason is the area of the world where resources get created you can create resources in any reason that you have access to but there are sometimes restrictions when creating a resource in one reason that related resources like networks must also be in the same reason for logical reasons question 51 where can you go to see what standards microsoft is in compliance with now the options are option a azure privacy page option b azure security center option c azure service health option d trust center and the correct answer is option d trust center explanation the list of standards that azure has been certified to meet is in the trust center for more info question 52 Which of the following is not one of the factors of multi-factor authentication (MFA)? Now the options are: Option A, something you know; Option B, something you have; Option C, something you are; Option D, something you can do. And the correct answer is Option D, something you can do. Explanation: Something you can do is not one of the factors of multi-factor authentication. Question fifty three, which of the following is true when it comes to SaaS software as a service? Now the options are: Option A, you are responsible for the scalability of the solution. Option B, you are responsible for the maintenance of the underlying hardware. Option C, you are responsible for configuring the application settings for client specific customization. Option D. you are responsible for the high availability of the solution and the correct answer is option c you are responsible for configuring the application settings for client specific customization explanation saas provides a complete software solution that you purchase on a pay as you go basis from a cloud service provider you rent the use of an app for your organization and your users connect to it over the internet usually with a web browser all of the underlying infrastructure middleware app software and app data are located in the service provider's data center the service provider manages the hardware and software and with the appropriate service agreement will ensure the availability and the security of the app and your data as well saas allows your organization to get quickly up and running with an app at minimal upfront cost question 54 true or false through azure active directory one can control access to an application but not the resources of the application now the options are option a true option b false and the correct answer is option b false explanation azure ad can control the access of both the apps and the app resources question 55 select yes or no for the following statement is the standard support plan included with an azure free account by default now the options are option a yes option b no and the correct answer is option b no explanation no the basic support plan is the default which is associated with all azure accounts the standard support plan must be purchased separately Question fifty six, which Azure service can be enabled to enable multi-factor authentication for administrators, but not require it for regular users? Now the options are: 
ऑप्शन ए एडवांस्ड थ्रेट प्रोटेक्शन ऑप्शन बी प्रिविलेज आइडेंटिटी मैनेजमेंट ऑप्शन सी अज्योर ए डी बी टू बी ऑप्शन डी अज्योर फायर वॉल एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी प्रिवलेज आइडेंटिटी मैनेजमेंट एक्सप्लेनेशन प्रिवलेज आइडेंटिटी मैनेजमेंट कैन बी यूज टू इंश्योर प्रिवलेज यूजर्स हैव टू जम्प थ्रू एडिशनल वेरिफिकेशन बिकॉज ऑफ देयर रोल क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी सेवन सेलेक्ट येस और नो फॉर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट डज द अज्योर फ्री अकाउंट अलाउ यू to host production based resources now the options are option a yes option b no and the correct answer is option a yes explanation yes you can although you need to understand that you will need to pay for any extra charges that don't come under the free account conditions question 58 a company is planning to purchase a zero ad to your premium p2 for its azure account does the azure ad premium p2 tier come with an sla of any azure ad service 99.99% now the options are option a yes option b no and the correct answer is option a yes question 59 you plan to host your applications on azure using serverless components however You don't want to manage the underlying infrastructure. Which of the following could be used to implement a workflow that would run over a serverless infrastructure? Now, the options are: Option A, Azure Logic Apps; Option B, Azure Service Bus; Option C, Azure Function App; Option D, Azure Storage. And the correct answer is Option A, Azure Logic Apps. Explanation. Azure Logic Apps is a cloud-based platform for creating and running automated workflows that integrate your apps, data, services and systems. With this platform you can quickly develop highly scalable integration solutions for your enterprise and business to business B2B scenarios. Option B is incorrect. Azure Service Bus is used as a messaging service in Azure. Option C is incorrect. Azure Function App this is used to host functions in Azure. Option D is incorrect. Azure Storage is used as a storage service in Azure. Question 60 Which of the following are one of the advantages of running your cloud in a private cloud? Now the options are Option A assurance that your code, data and applications are running on isolated hardware. and on an isolated network option b private cloud is significantly cheaper than the public cloud option c you own the hardware so you can change private cloud hosting providers easily and the correct answer is option a assurance that your code data and applications are running on isolated hardware and on an isolated network explanation Private cloud generally means that you are running your code on isolated computing not mixed in with other companies thank you for watching this video please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel buy our az 900 premium questions with 50% off check link in the description